Hi everyone, welcome to the KOYOPS channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be continue porting our tests from Cucumber to JUnit 5. Last video we created uh, we created the dependent, we, we, we inserted our dependencies, we started doing that portability and we were able to create a first test. But now we're going to be able of taking a look at nested tests. How can I have nested tests in a way that I can have uh, I can separate my before and my afters in my whole setup. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive, to receive the notification of my next videos. And I'm going to be posting the links for the previous one so you can keep it up. All right, so we already have the test that we, we created, the dependencies, everything so far. So one of the things that we're going to take a look at now is the test of the store is the store yes the store uh given i have a pet available when i order that pet then the order is approved so i'm going to create a new test called uh i executed didn't want to execute called uh store test right in this one i'm going to uh create a nested test, right? Nested class. So a nested class is a class within a class. So what I can do is I can say class, and I'm going to say create new order. So my the idea behind it is that on my class store test, I have everything related to test, to, to the store. And in my class, inside that class, I have everything related to that feature of creating a new order. And then I can have another class for listing order or for deleting order, whatever, right? But I need to say that this is a nested class. Now it's going to stop complaining. I'm also going to give a display name and I'm going to say uh, user creates new order, right? Awesome. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a test called user must be able to order available pet. And we're going to take a look at the test that we have for the store. I have a pet. I'm going to create, I'm going to create this pet. So this is the pet that I'm going to create. Uh, I'm also going to be creating the order. So this is the order that I need to create. And this is the assertion that we are doing. Bunch, bunch of failures, but we're going to take care of that right now. Right, so the status of my pet that I want, this is for available test. So this is a available. Right? Uh, this is a pet. Right? And I'm going to say this is my pet API, pet API, new pet API. This is a test. Sorry, a test. And the name of the test is a user must be able to order a new pet. I'm also I also need a store API, store API, store API, new store API. And this is a order. Great. So we are good to go. Right, so I, I can run this. Something failed because connection refused. I forgot to extend the base class, extend base test. Right, we, we are all the rest of your setup is on this base test right here. Now it worked. So let's let's take a, a, a deeper look here and clean up, clean up a little. 
So, so this is my test setup, right? And this is my action. Sorry, this is my test setup. This is my action. This is my assertion. So since this is my test setup, I can put this on a, a setup, void setup. And this is a before each. Right, before each test, I'm going to, before each test, I'm going to execute this. So I'm going to say a before each, and this is my setup. So my setup is going to be this here. Right? So creating the pet is part of my setup. It's the same here as in my store, right? In my, in my feature file, creating a pet is part of my setup. It's my, my given. The order is part of my action. So this is my setup. But I need to be able to share these two, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say pet, expected pet, right? And here I use whatever I define here. So now everything's fine. Right, so the fact that I have a, a nested class enables me to encapsulate or to 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 not encapsulate to put the scope of everything of this class only belonging to this class. I could have different classes here, right? And I can have a class for create a new order, which I have. I can create a, create a class for listing, and everything available the before each the after the variables are only available for this class so this is the scope and this is really nice right so now i have my setup and this setup is going to be executed for each each test inside this class which is really nice and the last thing that i need to do is delete the path that we created so now i'm going to do a after each and I'm going to say void delete pets available created. And I'm going to say pet API delete extra pets available. I can rerun my test. And great, I have what I needed here. So if I need to do other things, I just need to create a new class nested class class delete order and now i have i can have whatever i need inside this class right which is going to be very different than this one so i can separate the setup of of the tests i can i can do uh, a bunch of other stuff related to separate in what I want to do, the setup, the after, the before, uh, the data that's needed in, in any of those. So that's why the nested ones are really nice. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive, no to receive the notifications of my next videos. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up. And it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. And I'm going to see you on the next video. In the next video, we're going to be talking about parameterized tests. How can we have the same test, same tests being executed with different data? All right. I'll see you next.